We are now about a month into this year's Home for Good build as we work in partnership with Habitat for Humanity in the Roanoke Valley and generous community sponsors. Yeah, 10 News anchor Brittany McGraw explains how our latest home is part of a greater effort to build up the Roanoke community. If you take a ride in Northwest Roanoke, you can see the recent investments in the community from the Feeding Southwest Virginia Community Solutions Center to the new Melrose Branch Library. Restoration Housing's renovation of the Villa Heights Community Center to the Kiwanis Club of Roanoke's all-inclusive playground. There's a lot of pride in what we've done over the last few years uh, with the help from our partners. And Keith Holland, the city of Roanoke's Community Resources Administrator, says Habitat for Humanity in the Roanoke Valley has played a big part in the work happening here. Housing is, is what everyone needs, what everyone wants, uh, and is the catalyst for other economic development and human development throughout the city. In 2014, the city started allocating funds from the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development for this area, the Melrose Orange Target area, to encourage investment in the community with much of the work focused on improving housing conditions. It's a focus that aligns with Habitat's mission to build affordable housing. By the time they're done, they will have built 46 new homes. That's 46 families that five years ago did not have homes to live in. That sort of trickles down into other things and, and helps uh, other opportunities come out in the community for economic development and different things. So lots of different partners in the community. It's not just Habitat. Renovation Alliance, Total Action for Progress, and Blue Ridge Independent Living Center are some of the organizations that have also been a part of this work as Roanoke's target area now shifts to Belmont Fallon in southeast Roanoke, city leaders hope the work and investment happening in northwest Roanoke is only the beginning. In Roanoke, I'm Brittany McGraw, 10 News, working for you.